Right guys, so I've come to Dubai to work out whether or not this will be a great super yacht destination. Been here about 24 hours. We're now just leaving the Dubai Harbour on a Princess X95. Beautiful boat. Got the Dubai skyline in the background. Now, immediate thing about Dubai, people think, well, where do you go if you have a super yacht here? I'm thinking more about what can they offer you? So notably here, is extremely safe. There's very little to no crime. The security here is unbelievable. Dubai is very open to the Western culture. Although you've got to respect, you know, the locals and the local laws, they have opened up a lot of possibilities for the Western culture. There are hundreds and hundreds of activities for adults, for kids. They have some of the best restaurants and uh, dining experiences in the world, lots of water activities. The fuel is cheap in comparison to Europe. At the time of filming this, we're looking about a Euro a litre. Not quite Montenegro prices, but still very competitive in comparison to your traditional, say, Spain, France, Italian prices. The hotels here are just next level. The service here is next level. The warm welcome, the friendly service. We all know there's certain countries in Europe where they declare to have the best service in the world. It's not that great. Um, it's very, very clean everywhere you go. It's very clean. What I've noticed uh, over uh, last summer was, as an example, I follow a number of the Formula One drivers on social media. There was Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen on yachts around Sardinia and Corsica. And I saw on um, social media that Whenever they dock their yacht in the port, there'll be a crowd of people waiting in the back of the boat, wanting to take selfies, wanting to get autographs, just to say hello. And when you're on a holiday, you want to be kind of left alone. So Dubai, there's no paparazzi, right? Um, for us to get filming permission, just to vlog, to get small drones up, you need to have permits. They're very strict on it. They are big on discretion. They're big on privacy. So if that's really important to you, you're not going to find a more secure place than, than Dubai. You just literally get left alone. When the yacht arrives, obviously you have to clear customs, clear immigration. On yachts, I think, I believe at this stage of filming, you get up to six month permits if you are a foreign flagged vessel. And they're opening up chartering here as well for foreign flagged vessels. So it's kind of a win-win. Here, they want to really promote the, the marinas are very safe. There's facilities, water, electricity, uh, black water discharge, oil discharge, the shipyard facilities, and there's always events happening here in Dubai. Always things going on all year round. The summer months are very hot, but it's certainly, from a yachting perspective, a winter destination and a great alternative. I've seen over the years, the, the yachting hotspots have just become too busy. If you've been a charterer on a yacht and you've been to, say, the Amalfi Coast, although the photos look amazing, when you get there, it's overpopulated. There's so many tourists, you can't enjoy it. There's crowds everywhere. If you're out at anchor, there's constant swell from on all the wake from all the boats. You feel it's a little bit dangerous because it's so busy. Here, because it's so vast, there's so many empty, quiet areas you can, you can go to. And Ubers are really easy here. Transportation's really easy here. So definitely a option to look into. There's still a lot of development to be done and they are on it. And the great thing about being here, because I've come as a guest from the Tourism Board of Dubai, is they listen. And coming from a captain or a former captain is giving my perspective, like what it is that the captains and the crew want in terms of facilities. So the marinas have gyms, you get discounted rates at restaurants and bars. So people know to buy in some areas can be quite expensive, but they do they do take that consideration. They do crew events, all these kind of things. From an owner's perspective, from the Dubai Harbor, the airport is a 30 minute drive. So it's very close by. Come straight to your yacht, everything's all prepared. Go have a little cruise around enjoy the city, see all the sights. I mean, we've done, what have we done since we've been here? We went up the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. We did Top Golf, uh, which is of a driving range. We went out on the car jet boats. So it's been a very interesting experience. 
what they've done in the last 25, 30 years is unbelievable. During my visit here in Dubai, I was fortunate enough to sit down with a gentleman called Mike, who is a local yacht agent at a company called JLS. And this point is really important to take note because he said that they had managed to clear, listen to this, 64 crew through immigration in under 30 minutes. As you can imagine, this was music to my ears, as in the past, I've had huge delays caused by customs and immigration. But the Dubai authorities have worked closely with companies like JLS to make their entire process as fluid as possible. To find out more about Dubai and its possibilities, go to visitdubai.com. If you're interested in chartering a yacht in Dubai or you would like to visit with your yacht, then contact our team at Mortlock Yachts. I would like to extend a special thank you to the Dubai Border Tourism, Dubai Harbour, the Bulgari Resort Dubai, Arabian Adventures, and the Atlantis The Royal Hotel.